this is an opinion. Before you start bombarding the comments and hating me, watch the whole video first, please. You don't have to, just a recommendation. This is my opinion, my thoughts on Mr. Beast. Some of you may not like this. So just get prepared. Mr. Beast simps, beware. Obviously, I don't know Jimmy, Mr. Beast, personally. Um, obviously, I, I don't know him, but I have no reason to hate the guy. And I don't hate him. I don't. So I'm just getting that off the table right now. I don't hate Mr. Beast, okay? I think what he does with his charitable work, his money charitable work, fantastic. I'll, I'll, I'm behind that 100%. I'll support him all the way. You know, when he was doing his planting of the trees and, and cleaning up the beaches and stuff. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I, I back him up all the way on that. 100%. And from what I'm about to say, some of you might go, Oh, uh, you're jealous of his success. And, uh, you just want what he has. And that's not it at all. No, like, believe me, it's not it at all. I have my own success. I'm doing my own thing. It's not social media, YouTube, per se, success, but I have my own success out in life here, in, in the real world. So what I'm about to say may not, it may not appeal to some of you, but it's the truth. I'm not here to slander the guy, but I'm here to speak some truth, okay? Uh, Mr. Beast, you know, he, he had a video, he was talking about someone who, uh, who got a lot of views on their videos for little to no effort. And that kind of struck me a little bit, you know, that kind of hit a nerve for me. I, you know, uh, before I get into um, his little, his little uh, inquiries about the successful video he's seen, um, I want to get into why I, uh, I'm not too fond of what he does. Um... First off, like I said earlier, it's not because I'm jealous of his success. I have my own success, all right? I got my own success in life. And what I have a problem with is, is not, it's not the person he is, okay? It's not. It is how he influences youth okay uh he is one of the most popular social media influencers on the planet period and that's so there is it's him pewdiepie markiplier you know you, you got a few others i'm not gonna care to mention but uh um these guys are top influencers they are really uh you know taking control of the impressionable young minds of today not in like they're taking over and brainwashing them, but it's what, it's just what the world is now, right? So, I think guy a guy like Mr. Beast, if you, excuse me, <clears throat> if he wanted to properly influence young people, um, okay, so, so the way I look at it and the way I see it, the influence that he's putting upon young people is, is to not want to work. These young kids don't want to take on responsibilities. They want everything handed out to them. Give it to me. I want your money. They don't want to work for it. That's the kind of influence he's putting out. Unfortunately, I don't think he's purposely putting this influence out. I think that's just the way his channel has kind of grown. And obviously, he's a successful young man, Mr. Beast. He's an entrepreneur, philanthropist, all that kind of stuff, right? So he's able to put out like $3 million to make one video. It's insane. You know, uh, but at the same time, does, uh, does Mr. Beast have any real uh, talents or skills? He just throws money out there. He's like, oh, these guys uh, make little to no effort videos. And, well, these guys who make these little to no effort videos are talented with voice acting or art or music or something where they have a, a discernible skill that they have to hold, to the, uh, hold under their belts to have pride with. 
Mr. Beast just has money, and that's what he throws while, around, and that's and that's what he influences kids, and that's how he influences the kids nowadays. It's it's just the money. It's not having any skills. It's not working hard. So if Mr. Beast actually worked on influencing kids to work for their money, you know, maybe maybe Jimmy can actually, you know, put put a couple hundred thousand dollars together to go and fly across the world and work a hard job for like uh, for for an eight hour shift. See what it's like to be a bricklayer in fucking Malaysia or something, you know? Like, give me a break, man. Go and influence kids properly. You know, you have so much, so much influence. You have so much weight to the words that you say that you should be really thinking about what you're doing with it. Uh, properly teach these kids. I'm not saying that you kids out there are, are, are stupid and can't think for yourselves, but you're young. You're impressionable. We all were. It's just the way it is. Everything everyone knows, you learn from someone else. Unless you're, unless you're a fucking, the rare chance that you're a genius, like a literal, like, intellectual genius, a, a musical prodigy, an art prodigy, something like a mathematical physics prodigy where you can think outside the box beyond other people's fathoming, recognition, and understanding. It's, it's, there's no way. And it's also the fact that he puts so much money into his videos that him and others like him are controlling the YouTube algorithm. Not to say that it's unfair, but he does marginalize unfathomable amounts of people that are trying to make content. Like I say, people who have real skills, who have, you know, the abilities and talents to do art or to no business, who are musically savvy, whatever, right? Like, people who have talents that they want to showcase to the world and they aren't getting the recognition they deserve. And you have this guy, Mr. Beast, again, I don't hate the guy, it's just the way he's, the way he's gained his success and he goes about it, I think he can do a little better with it. That's just my opinion. Again, don't let you little Mr. Beast simps get all, uh, get yourselves all worried now, okay? It's, uh, just an opinion. Sorry to be harsh, but you know what? I, I think I think the world needs some harsh words, you know? I think some people need to hear something that's a little more in touch with reality. You know, I, I, I think you're all living a fake fantasy world. Too much of this social media bullshit and how hypocritical of me it is to put it out there on social media. But again, where else do people hear this bullshit nowadays? Everyone goes on where? The fucking internet! So, where do I have to put this message up? On the fucking internet. I have no choice. Of course, I try to say the serenity prayer to myself every day. Oh, I have to accept the things that I cannot change and have the courage to change the things that I can. But you know what? The, the things that are going on in this world, they affect everyone. Everyone. And I can't accept that. I'm sorry. And now I'm starting to ramble on. This isn't about Mr. Beast anymore. But you know what? Let's wind it back down. Again... I think what Mr. Beast does with his money and charitable work, absolutely phenomenal. I am 100% behind him. I love some of his videos that he does. Like, I've only watched the two where he helped the deaf people and the blind people. I, you know, like, sure, you know, it may seem like he's doing it for clout. He might be. Who knows? Like, it's hard to tell. He's had so much success, and the guy has been around the world. It's hard to tell how he takes in things and how he, you know, uh, shows gratitude, right, it's hard to, it's hard to tell, you know, he's probably just, he doesn't know how to show it anymore, he's just had it so much, or maybe he just genuinely doesn't know what he's thinking anymore, I, I, how to think or how to feel, I don't know, but again, I don't hate the guy, I just think what he does and the way he influences people can be changed, I, I think instead of just flaunting his money and, oh, I'm gonna, you know, buy a uh, hundred cars and then, we give them all away to my friends and then have them race it on a private island I bought. You know, like, give me a break. Well, why don't you go and... There's so much more he could be doing, but I'm just saying it's influencers like this that boggle my mind. Makes me wonder where this world is going to and who we're leaving it to. You know, uh... There's other other influencers I would like to uh, put an opinion out there on, but 
Uh, maybe now's not the time. This is just an opinion. Again, don't get offended if you do. Sorry, but it's just the way it is. It's the way I feel. I'm sorry. If you don't like it, move on to the next video. Thanks and have a great day.